Welcome to our ArtBeads.com handy tip. Today we're going to show you how to use metal stamps on silver tags. The project we're going to make is a name tag to go on a dog collar for a pretty puppy named Brooke. The tag we're using for our project is sterling silver and shaped like a dog bone. The tags also come in other shapes and sizes. They have bales for hanging so they can be used as pendants and charms. They can also be used as embellishments in scrapbooking and other craft projects. These are the metal stamps. They have a symbol or letter on the end of a shank, which when struck will leave an impression in the silver. This is the bench block. It is used as the work surface for stamping, and we will be using a 16 ounce household hammer for striking. The charm of the hand stamp pieces is the organic or random look, not something that comes out of a machine. The letters and symbols don't need to be lined up perfectly, and even unplanned mishaps can add to the charm rather than ruin it. That being said, there are some mistakes that, can help, that you can help prevent, so we're going to talk about a few tips. We are using 8 to 10 sheets from a sticky note pad. Place the pad on the bench block and choose your first stamp. We will discuss proper stamping techniques in a few minutes. For this purpose, you don't need to hit the stamp very hard to leave an impression in the paper. Position the stamp on the paper and hit it with the hammer. When you determine that the image is facing the correct way, place a mark on the shank of your stamp on the side facing you with a permanent ink marker. In this case, we're working with letter stamps, so we will write the letter of the image on the shank. If you have number stamps, very often the 6 and 9 are one and the same. You will want to mark that stamp accordingly. Another thing we're going to practice is spacing. If you're spelling a name or a word, you don't want to crowd the letters or run out of room on your piece by spreading them out too far. So choose your first stamp, position it on the paper, and hit it with the hammer. Choose your next stamp, position it next to the first impression, and hit it with the hammer. And then repeat to complete the name. Now stamp the name again, this time spacing the letters closer or farther apart. Do this a few times and then hold the paper up to your tag to see which way is going to fit best. If you're not comfortable freehanding it, you can mark on your tag with a felt tip marker where you plan to stamp, or you can write the name on a sticky note and lay it across your object as a guide. This helps with centering and spacing. When you're ready to stamp, lay the silver tag on the bench block with a sticky note across the surface. Choose your first stamp and hold it with the mark facing you. Position the stamp where you want the impression to be. Hold the stamp firm and straight. Hold the hammer where you feel like you have good control and hit the top end of the stamp with a single firm blow. This will leave a clear impression of the design. Choose your next stamp. Hold it with the mark facing you. Position the stamp where you want the impression to be. Hold the stamp firm and straight. Hold the hammer where you feel like you have good control and hit the top end of the stamp with a single firm blow. And then repeat for each impression. 
When you have finished all your stamping, attach a large jump ring to the tag and attach it to the dog collar. These are some examples of some mistakes. Holding the stamp the wrong way, resulting in upside down or sideways impressions. Not holding the stamp firm enough, causing the stamp to move. Not holding the stamp straight or hitting the stamp too soft, resulting in incomplete images. Hitting the stamp too hard, which can dent the whole tag. Hitting the stamp twice, this will leave a shadow impression no matter how well you position the stamp the second time. And last but not least, missing the stamp altogether. It can happen. For these and other great tips, please visit the artbeats.com Learning Center in the Handy Tips section.